Hello and welcome to another TLC Tutoring Company Accounting lesson. In this video, we will be ending our accounting cycle for a corporation series with step 10, preparing a post-closing trial balance. So uh, keep in mind, we do have the Excel spreadsheet and workbook available on our website, along with many other resources. I will link to this page uh, below in the description. So please feel free to go ahead and download that and follow along if you think it would be helpful. So in order to do our post-closing trial balance, we're going to need two things. I'm going to grab our post-closing trial balance sheet, as well as our general ledger here. So when we're doing a post-closing trial balance, very similar to our unadjusted and adjusted trial balance, is we're simply grabbing all of the balances from each and every account in our ledger and transferring it over to our trial balance sheet. One of the big differences that you should notice here is that our temporary accounts, which we learned in step eight, are our revenues, our expenses, and our dividends for a corporation, those should be zeroed out to a balance of zero. You should also notice that the retained earnings should be updated to the new appropriate balance, which we saw in step seven on our financial statements. So let's go ahead, let's grab all of these balances. We have our first ledger account here, cash. We're simply going to go to the balance debit and credit section, and we are going to pull the current balance there. Now, whatever side it's on, on our general ledger, that's the side of our post-closing trial balance that it goes on. So it had a debit balance of 367,200. We're simply going to put it on the debit side. Accounts receivable, same idea. Supplies. We're simply grabbing those balances and transferring them over. Prepaid rent, 12,000 debit. Equipment, 56,000 debit. Accumulated depreciation, notice here we have a credit balance, so it's going to go on the credit side. Moving on to accounts payable. Uh, 40,000 credit, 5,000 credit for salaries payable. 40,000 credit for unearned revenue. Cash dividends payable. Had a, ooh, careful, zero. Balance. Common stock, 25,000 credit. 135,000 credit for a paid in capital nexus of par for common. 100,000 credit for preferred stock. 105,000 credit for paid in capital in excess of par for preferred stock. Notice here, paid in capital from sale of treasury stock. We haven't done anything to this account yet. It is a capital account though, so we're going to put a zero balance on the credit side. Retained earnings has that updated 86,500 balance. Treasury stock. 20,000 debit. Cash dividends has a zero balance. It's going to get uh, a little boring from this point on. Uh, spoiler alert. Uh, cash dividends for preferred. Zero. Consulting revenue. Zero. Salary expense. Zero. Rent expense. Zero. Supplies expense. Zero. We're already seeing that they're equaling, so, but let's keep on with it. Zero, 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 and nothing. Zero, right? So just like all of our other trial balances, we see that we equal. We see that we closed out all of our revenues and our expenses and our dividends to our retained earnings account. So that will be updated from last time and our debits equal our credits, that is it. So essentially you'll notice all of our temporary accounts zeroed out, but our permanent accounts, they live on. And now on February 1st for this company, they will be starting out with those new balances. That is the whole purpose to what we're doing here with our post-closing trial balance. All right, so this was actually a really fun uh, series doing the corporate accounting cycle with you. Um, keep in mind, if there's anything else that you would like to see, please feel free to leave it in the comments below. 
Uh, keep in mind, as you're working through accounting, you want as much practice as possible. So please feel free to take a look at the other videos we have available or go to our website and see what subjects we have additional tutorials or practice problems on. Uh, where we are constantly updating and trying to get you as much accounting content as possible. So um, until our next video, as always, thank you so much for being here and happy studying.